Welcome to part 4 of the Austrian gun law. After seeing part 1 to 3, you already know what's a pistol, what's a rifle, what's super illegal, and the different categories A, B, and C. Now in this part, we're finally gonna talk about what do you need to get a gun license and what is the difference to a carry license in Austria. Let's talk about the gun license first. It's called the Waffenbesitz Karte in Austria. Roughly translated, this means card to own guns. Simple, right? Well, this gun license is what the usual Austrians will get if they are planning to buy a revolver, or if they are planning to buy a semi auto pistol, or if they are planning to buy a semi auto rifle. There are several requirements and steps required to get a gun license in Austria. The first one is you have to be 21 years or older to get a gun license. Although there is an exception because in Austria there is always an exception that says you can be 18 years old or older if your job requires it. There is no strict definition of what the job is. So there is a case to case um, allowness by the Austrian government that says, yeah, you're a professional hunter, so you need a gun license for whatever reason, or if you are um, a security member of some sort, whatever. The second requirement is that you have to do your basic military service if you're male in Austria. Well, and that's some major bullshit right here. Because in Austria, there is a rule that all males have to either do service in the Austrian army or have to do um, a substitute for it. And the reason there is a substitute for it is because if you're doing the substitute, you are saying that you refuse to serve with a firearm. Therefore, you won't get a firearm license if you do the substitute service. The substitute service is a civilian service. For example, that's it if you're working for the Red Cross, if you're working at the hospital, if you're working at a retirement place, something like that, which is basically a good idea. And people who do that are needed in the Austrian system. Without those people doing the civil duty, the Austrian health system would probably be close to collapsing. So I think it's a major fuck up that people who say, I rather do civil duty in a hospital because I want to become a doctor later, are refused to own a gun for 15 years after they started doing their civil duty service. Of course, it wouldn't be Austria if there wouldn't be even an exception for that. If you've done civil duty service, but if you need a firearm for your job, you can get an exception for that 15 years block. The usual workaround is that, for example, people become uh, IPSC ROs or something similar like that, because if they are range officers for IPSC shooting, they have to shoot shooting courses and therefore need a gun license. That's one way to get a gun license, even though you didn't do military service. What's next? You will require the psychological evaluation before you can apply for a gun license. This psychological evaluation takes about two hours and you have to pay 283.20 euro for it. That's 283.20 euro. Oddly specific? Yes, it is. The psychological evaluation has several parts and the first two are tests. And these tests are usually done on the computer. The first test is um, answered with things like um, fully applies, doesn't apply at all, somewhat applies. Within these tests, you, get, uh, you now get questions that are the same for every person. Well, it wasn't the same for me back then. I had some weird shit questions in it. For example, if I like to play with puppets, Damn, that thing's creepy as fuck. Or, if I like to visit the theater. Hmm. Up until today, I'm wondering, is this a Lincoln reference? Who knows? Anyway, 
I'm not sure how wacky the questions currently are and if they're still having their play with puppet stuff like that, but I have some information on the currently asked questions that I'm going to read to you because I don't want to make a mistake here. One of the questions is, I like to be the center of attention. Hmm, hmm. <laughs> Another one. I like to read about accidents and disasters in the newspaper. Well, who reads the newspaper anyway today? Nobody, so... Oh, I hear voices. Well, <laughs> when somebody talks or... I hear voices. Actually, that question was in my test too. I forgot that, but I also had the I hear voices question. Oh, oh, oh. Here are three more uh, highlight questions that I want to read to you. In life, you can only make it with cheating and lying. Sometimes I explode and destroy things. And the final one, I would like... <laughs> Sorry. I would work at an epidemic station for lots of money. Okay, I guess they are trying to evaluate how risk uh, taking you are with one of those questions. Other, I can't explain why it's supposed to be a problem if you would work at an epidemic station if you get money for it. So after that written exam, there comes the oral exam. The psycho guy will ask you some more questions about your family, about your hobbies, why you want a firearm, stuff like that. He will also ask you if you understood the question correctly, because sometimes these questions are very um, confusingly um, articulated. So it's good if you behave, if you don't behave like a complete asshole, the psycho guy will try to get you into the direction where you should go. Make sense? Right. So don't behave like a tool and <laughs> don't give stupid answers to the psycho guy. If you don't do that and if you should fail the psycho exam, you can try again after six months. If you fail a third time, you will be blocked from applying for a gun license for the next 10 years. So you better don't screw this up. So you're 21 years old, you have done your military service or a female and you're not a complete nut job. What comes next? Now you have to prove that you can safely handle a firearm. This usually happens in a seminar style, usually provided by shooting ranges or firearm stores. This takes another two hours and costs about 70 euros. When you go there, there will be uh, several people around and someone will teach you about the basics of the Austrian gun law, especially how to safely store a firearm. After that comes the practical part, where you have to shoot a firearm. So this usually takes five shots with a pistol. Usually it's a Glock, I don't own Glock, so this is a USB. And five shots with a revolver. You Sometimes you don't even have to load the firearms yourself and you basically just have to hit the target and prove that you don't shoot yourself in the foot with the firearm. That's it. So you're 21 years old. You have done your military service or you are a female. You have proven that you're not a nut job and the first time you handled a gun, you didn't shoot yourself in the foot. What happens next? Next thing is to actually apply for the gun license. This you will do at the police station of your district that handles firearm requests. You go there with the confirmation of a psychological evaluation of the thing that you didn't shoot your food. You bring your ID, you bring a photo, you bring your birth certificate and just to make sure you bring a confirmation of the place where you currently live. With all that stuff, you put it them on a desk and say, give me a gun license and they will give you another form to fill out. In this form, they will ask you, why do you need a gun license? Usually you say sport shooting, collecting, home defense. Don't say self-defense because it's a gun license and not a carry license. So if you're saying home defense, it's okay. If you're saying self-defense, it's not okay because you won't be able to self-defense with a firearm that you're not allowed to carry. And of course, you have to pay money for all of that and that's... 74.40 euro for the application of the firearm license.
Well, congratulations! You've finally done it! Now you have to wait two to five months for your new fresh firearm license to arrive. Costs until this point about 380 euro just to have this firearm license. This firearm license will allow you to buy two category B firearms. And it wouldn't be Austria if there wouldn't be another exception. And this time the exception is for hunters. If you have a valid hunting license, you don't need to do the psychological exams and you don't need to prove that you won't shoot yourself in the foot with a pistol or a revolver. Why is that? That's because the hunting license takes a lot longer to get and a lot more money. To get a valid hunting license, you need to do a practical shooting exam that involves clay shooting and that involves shooting at a 100 meter target with Uh, with precision, so not just anywhere. So this will prove that you can handle a firearm. And the teachers in the hunting class are supposed to evaluate if they deem you um, not crazy enough to handle a firearm. That's why I don't need a psychological exam. Now here comes the important part. The gun license is not a carry license. You can have either one or both at the same time but you cannot legally carry with your gun license. So who actually can get a carry license in Austria? Right now, it's pretty much just police officers and people who work for security companies. Back in the days, the license would also be eligible for private detectives and for taxi drivers, but that pretty much stopped. The law doesn't specifically say if this carry license is for open and concealed carry. So both is actually legal, but it's supposed to be concealed carry because if you open carry, it can mean disturbing of the public or something similar. They will charge you for that. It's a thing. For example, a few years ago, There was the case of someone in a cinema with a pistol badly concealed carried. Someone saw that this person had a pistol on them and called the police. Well, turned out that the person who were badly concealed carrying a pistol was also a police officer who had a valid carry license. What does that say about Austria? In Austria, carrying a firearm is such rare sight that people will rather think it's a criminal who, has, who illegally who illegally who illegally carries the firearm rather than a police officer who does it with a carry license. Hunters could also get a carry license a few years ago. That's because when you're going out hunting in the hunting grounds and you need to do the final shot, you usually do it with a smaller caliber pistol and not your hunting rifle. So they had to give them a carry license because the law hasn't, uh, wasn't able to provide it otherwise. Well, they changed the law. Hunters can now carry category B firearms if they have a valid hunter's license in the hunting grounds. So they won't get a carry license anymore because the Austrian gun law says they have an exception and can carry at the hunting grounds. That means you can't bring your pistol in the supermarket as a hunter and say, hmm, I'm hunting for good beans and toilet paper. That won't work. So if your hunter only carry your pistol at the hunting grounds, in the hunting grounds, and not when you're driving through the hunting grounds or not when you're leaving them, really just holds your pistol right when you're in the hunting grounds. And did I mention there are exceptions in Austria? Because there always are exceptions in Austria. This one is about carrying at home. You can carry the firearm at home loaded on your body. That's okay. You can also the, carry the firearm at the property of your own business. That means if you're a store owner and you have a gun license, you can have the loaded firearm holstered as long as you are in the property of your business. There is also the exception that If the owner of an enclosed property gives you the permission to carry a firearm, but you have to always have this permission with you, 
to prove that you are allowed to carry the firearm in case something would happen. Now, here's another tricky part. The part is a difference between transporting a firearm and carrying a firearm. There have been many cases with people going in front of the court because of that. So, a firearm is only considered transporting if it's in a closed compartment and is transported to either some place where you want to sell it or some place where you want to repair it or to a shooting range. So you can't just drive around with your gun in an enclosed compartment because that would be considered carrying and not transporting. It's also important that you don't have the ammo in the same compartment as your weapon. Don't ask me, they are like that. For example, if you have a box of ammo in the same gun case as your rifle, that could be considered carrying and not transporting. But for example, if you have your pistol in your backpack on your way to a shooting range and have a loaded magazine in the back pocket of your trousers, that would be okay because it's not in the same compartment. So, here's another little detail about that. For example, if you're going to the shooting range and feel thirsty and stopping at Burger King or whatever, and you're going to get a Coke and going back, you break the law. Because you've left the weapon unattended in your car and you went to McDonald's and not the shooting range or Burger King or whatever, and therefore didn't transport the weapon. So, <laughs> you either um, try to um, keep those first down or you using the drive-in. That would be okay. Now let's sum things up here. A carry license is pretty much unobtainable for most people in Austria. But hunters can carry pistols at the hunting grounds. You can also carry pistols at home or if you are a business owner at your business grounds or you can carry a firearm in an enclosed property with the permission of the owner of the property. A gun license, on the other hand, can be easily obtained. You just need 380 euros, proof that you're not a total nut job, and don't shoot yourself in the foot with a pistol or a revolver. Easy enough, right? And with that, congratulations! You guys and girls just made it through another part of the Austrian gun law. If you want to watch the next part, you better skill up on your math skills because this one is about some numbers. It's the waiting game. How long do you have to wait to get more than two firearms on your gun license and stuff like that? Hope to see you guys. Bye.